Hello, I'm Emma Jolly and I'd like to welcome you to this talk on regional food history and local foods in Lancashire and Devon. Um, I'm going to give an overview of British local cuisine and then we're going to move on to more sp specifics um, in Lancashire in the northwest of England and Devon in the southwest. So as you can see here, um, we have lots of different types of food from around Britain. Britain is rich in local food. Throughout, you will see themes of regional recipes being formulated by resourceful local people using what was cheap, nutritious and abundant in their place or locality to make a tasty meal that would also fill working men, working women, children and give them the energy they needed for their everyday lives. From Cornwall, we have the nutritious Cornish pasty and also the cream tea. Scouse was originally a poor man's meal made of beef, potatoes, onions, salt and pepper, and it's particularly associated with sailors and the port of Liverpool, hence the name Scouse. Tottenham cake with the pink icing, a simple sponge cake uh, made at the end of the 19th century by a local baker named Henry Chalkley. Um, it was supposed to have been given out for free after Tottenham Hotspur won the FA Cup for the very first time in 1901. The icing was pink because uh, Chalkley had picked mulberries from the grounds of his local Quaker meeting house. And, and that uh, gave it its uh, vibrant and unique color. Rhubarb uh, grows eagerly around the UK and was regularly featured as a pudding for many of us um, in our school dinners, particularly with custard. Yorkshire pudding, a baked side dish um, uh, made of eggs, flour, milk and water, batter, absolute classic of uh, Northern English cuisine and central to the British Sunday roast, particularly beef. And that's a meal that dates back centuries in this country. Um, stargazy, it, stargazy pie is a Cornish dish. It's most, made of baked pilchards along with eggs and potatoes and covered with a pastry crust. The fish heads protrude through the crust, appearing to be gazing at the stars, hence the name. Cranachan is a dessert of cream and fresh seasonal raspberries with Scottish oats and whiskey, and it's been called the um, <clears throat> uncontested king of Scottish desserts. And it originated as a celebration of the raspberry harvest in Scotland in August. The Welsh oggy is a pasty, similar to the Cornish pasty, and that was a staple uh, for Welsh tin miners when they were off to work. Cullen skink is a thick soup. It's made of smoked haddock, potatoes and onions. And the soup is a local speciality from Cullen in Murray on the northeast coast of Scotland. Lava cake, that's made from the Welsh speciality lava bread, which is not bread at all, but seaweed. The weed is uh, shredded small and well kneaded, similar to dough for bread, hence the name. Um, it can be mixed with oatmeal and butter and being cheap and easily accessible, particularly popular in the Swansea and Glamorganshire area historically. And during the mining era from the 18th century, it became a staple food of pit workers as part of their cooked breakfast before heading down the mine. Bakewell pudding originated from the appropriately named Bakewell in Derbyshire, and that consists of a flaky pastry base with a layer of uh, jam and stopped um, and topped with a filling of egg and almond paste. The, this differs slightly from the um, also popular Bakewell tart that has a short crust pastry with a layer of jam covered with a sponge-like mixture of the same ingredients. Teviot pie comes from the Teviotdale region of the Scottish borders and is similar to the English cottage pie, but instead of potatoes, it has a thick suet crust over the meat. Gypsy tart in the bottom right-hand corner there, that's made with evaporated milk, muscovado and pastry and originates from the Isle of Sheppey in Kent. The tart is extremely sweet and like some of the other dishes mentioned, was popular as uh, part of school dinners. And finally, we have Eccles cakes, and um, they are they're just there on the, the third road down and they're from Lancashire and that's going to move us on to our, the Lancashire part of our presentation. There we go. So there's Lancashire there on the left, a map of Lancashire. Um, so an Eccles cake is a small round pie filled with currants and made from flaky pastry, butter, sometimes topped with demerara sugar. Um, Eccles is near Old Trafford in Manchester. So you can see the, the bottom red arrow there. Uh, the next arrow up, that's pointing to Chorley. Um, that's because there's a similar uh, dish called Chorley cakes. Chorley cakes are made with short crust pastry and generally they're less sweet, they're thinner and they may be served with some butter or cheese to make it a bit more of a savoury dish. 
Um, and then about, that's Chorley's about 20 miles north of um, Eccles. So as you can see on the map, Lancashire also has a long coastline running down there uh, from near the uh, Lake District at the top down uh, to, to uh, Liverpool. Liverpool and Manchester used to be in um, historic Lancashire. Um, and we've got near the top there, um, the red arrow pointing to Morecambe. So that's the old, uh, it was a very popular holiday resort in the 20th century, Morecambe Bay. And that's still known for its potted shrimps. Uh, further down the coast, you can see Blackpool there, um, marked in bold, and just above Fleetwood. And that's a uh, Fleetwood pictured there on the right. Um, and in 1865, a local pharmacist created some extra strong throat lozenges from licorice, eucalyptus and menthol for some croaky voiced fishermen. They couldn't take bottles of, of these of the liquid um, menthol and so forth on the boats because they would keep getting smashed on the um, whilst they were out on the waves. So the um, pharmacist created some lozenges and these became known as Fisherman's Friend. And, they, and this uh, brand is now sold all over the world and continues to be manufactured in uh, Lancashire, in Fleetwood. This is a, a blog, a quick bite of Lancashire food. Um, and it's highlighting the Lancashire village of Goosner and the Goosner cake, which you can see there pictured. Um, Goosner cakes actually are biscuits, as you can see, they're a form of shortbread, shortcake, and they're made with caraway seeds, you can see in, in the picture. And traditionally sold at Easter and Whitsun, but you can enjoy them all year round, they're very uh, cheap and easy to make. Another dish that's uh, cheap and easy to make, Lancashire hot pot, that's a, um, a staple of um, my school dinners when I was growing up in Lancashire. This recipe here on the left um, is from the Lancashire Daily Post, Wednesday 10th of March 1937. And that's the, the hot pot on the right there, with the, the crispy potatoes on the top, carrots, gravy that you can see through, and then uh, the, the meat and onion and so forth underneath. And um, like a lot of the dishes mentioned, like the scouse and pasty is very similar using meat it's a hot filling meal and it, and the cooks would make it with um well, easily available cheap local ingredients so it'd be popular among industrial workers so this recipe also suggests if you've got sausages kidneys or apple lying around just throw those in as well so i like a lot of these recipes they're kind of variable and um uh, you know uh, people would cook with what was on hand um so I grew up in Lancashire, as I just said, and can attest to the amount of rain that falls. So all the, the rain, it leads to lush green grass, which uh, feeds all the, the many cows that um, uh, uh, live there. Um, the milk from these cows is turned into very popular Lancashire cheese, pictured here from popular Lancashire and um, or the Northern Counties um, supermarket booths. Um, Lancashire cheese, it's it's quite in the, the one that I was used to eating anyway, is a crumbly, tangy, hard cheese. Local farmers in Lancashire are also producing goat's cheese and uh, from, from the dairy for fantastic ice cream as well. And loads of really great uh, dairy produce in Lancashire. So we move on to Devon, uh, pictured here, because you can see the map there on the left. You can see how green Devon is, what a rural county it is. And it's also got the uh, the, the city's Exeter, Plymouth there. Um, Devon fudge is popular, particularly with tourists um, who throng here every summer to the many beaches such as this one pictured here, Blackpool Sands. Um, and when you're in Devon, you may come across something called hog's pudding. That's not a pudding at all. It's a type of sausage similar to white pudding or black pudding. Um, so white pudding is, is a bloodless version of, of the black pudding. It's got more spice as well. Um, the Devon pasty, we've heard of the Cornish pasty, the Devon pasty. And that's believed to outdate the Cornish version. The earliest known record for the recipe was from the naval port and city of Plymouth um, from 1510. And uh, that's on the Cornish Devon border. So you can see some of those um, traditions um, interchangeable. And again, uh, feeding hungry sailors who, who were coming in. So here we have, um, you can see a picture on the right taken in Devon with a lovely cream tea. Um, and Devon is a sunny county in summer, but like Lancashire, it is on the west and does receive a fair amount of rainfall. Again, this is great for lush green fields and the cows who live there. And from these cows, Devonians produce amazing ice cream, Devonshire cream tea, um, and that's enhanced by Devonshire cream. And you can see the recipe here from Mrs. Beaton's book for Devonshire cream. And um, that's otherwise known as cottage cream. So we, we know it more as cottage cream today, but um, and this is how 
Mrs. Beaton made it, a Victorian recipe writer there. The main difference between a cream tea in Devon and that in Cornwall, incidentally, is that in Devon, they put the cream on first, they spread that on and then they put the jam. And in Cornwall, it's my preferred version, they put jam and then like a nice blob of cream on the top. Um, popular cheeses as well produced in Devon include the uh, Kerworthy, Sharper and Balscombe cheeses and the Devon Blue. And here's another dairy product, the Ambrosia Creamery, famous tagline, Devon knows how they make it so creamy, best known for its uh, custard and creamed rice pudding. And since 1917, so the First World War, it's been based in the village of Lifton um, on the edge of Dartmoor. If you'd like to read more about the history of um, regional food in Britain, here is a list of excellent books which should help with further research. 